What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about adding new patches to OS images using Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager schedule update option that SCCM has within their uh, management console. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is open up our Endpoint Configuration Manager and from here we are going to go to Software, Overview, operating systems and we are going to go inside operating system images and for this video i am going to focus on this particular image which is version 21 h1 from windows 10 enterprise right you're going to select it and at the top of the toolbar you're going to see an option that says schedule update so we're going to click on it you're going to get the schedule updates wizard it's going to start loading and for me I didn't get anything. So this right here, if you don't get anything, this basically means that you don't have any updates that are downloaded within your SCCM console that are for this particular build, for this Windows 10 build. So what I did was inside software, software updates, all software updates, I located a, a couple of updates, which is for Windows 10 version 21 H1. And I right clicked on them and I did download. I don't have a deployment package, so I selected uh, create a new deployment package. I provided a name as well as a UNC path of where these packages are going to be dropped into. We're going to click on next. We're going to click on add and then pick our DP. And then from here, select your DP. I only have one within my environment, so I'm going to select it and click OK. Click next here uh, for the distribution settings. This is really up to you. I do recommend changing the default that is set to manually copy the content in the, this package to a DP to automatically download the content. Once you set all the configurations here, just click on next. I'm going to leave the default as download the software updates from the internet and click next here. Uh, you're able to select and update the language for the products. I left everything as the default. Click next, a nice little summary next, and it's going to start, uh, you know, grabbing those updates. Once it's completed, you're going to get a nice little summary that everything is completed. Green check marks are always a good thing. So close it. Now, if you go inside software, software updates, and then select deployment packages and select your deployment package that you just created. You're going to see at the lower right hand side, the DP status, it should be in progress. If you go inside the UNC path that you provided to download those Windows 10 packages, you're going to see that content is going to be there. So that's a way of checking if stuff is being, you know, download it into your SCCM server. For me, I'm, I don't have any patience when it deals with this. So what I did was I select my Windows 10 version 21 H2 updates package. I right clicked on it. And what I did was update the DP. It's going to give you a nice little warning. I clicked OK. Now, you don't really need to do that. But again, I don't have any type of patience. So eventually at the lower right hand side at the DP status, it should change green. It's just one of those things that it just takes some time. OK, and you could just constantly just click on refresh for it to like update. Now, what we're going to do is go back inside software operating system operating system images. You're going to select your operating system image that you want to update. In this instant, rather than going to the toolbar, I'm going to right click and you still have the option to select schedule updates. And then once it finished loading, you're going to see the updates that we downloaded or what you downloaded, right? Uh, we're going to click next here for the set schedule. I left it as the default as as soon as possible. So I clicked on next, a summary next green check mark, which is always a good thing. And you're able to close it now. Within your operating system image folder or your node, if you go all the way to the right hand side, you're going to see a column that states scheduled update status. It's going to state scheduled for the image that you push out these updates to. Eventually, what's going to happen is it is going to change to in progress, which is a good thing. If you want to check the status on this, you are able to go inside your logs folder and locate offline servicing manager log. Double click on that. And then from here, you get a nice overview of what's happening behind the scenes. So right now it is 
uh, locating the WIM image, copying in the files. Uh, once it finished copying the files, it's going to start mounting. Once it finished mounting, it's going to unmount. And once it's completed, I think the last entry on the log should state offline servicing manager thread is exiting. That basically means it's finishing up and cleaning up, which is a good thing. If you go back inside your endpoint configuration manager, underneath the column of scheduled update status, it should say successful, and that's a great thing. And that's it. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.